Hello everybody and welcome to Skip Allen Paints and to the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This is going to be a series of videos about Painter 2015 and a Wacom tablet device or Cintiq. I am the proud owner, <laughs> a new owner of a, a Cintiq 24-inch HD Touch and I absolutely love it and um, I'm going to tell you about how I'm setting up my Cintiq to work with uh, the new Painter 2015. Um, the, the marriage is really beautiful now. Uh, there's some new things about uh, Painter 2015's workspace that allows you to utilize the Wacom tablets in a way that uh, I think is extraordinary. Now, I, to be honest, it was available to us before now, but I think it took these changes to the um, interface of 2015 to get me sort of started in the right direction to make uh, the combination of the Wacom tablet or Cintiq and the Painter 2015 to really meld in a way that uh, uh, improves the workflow. Um, so what we're going to talk about in this particular video is we're going to talk about a couple of things, not in this video, but in the series. We're going to talk about a couple of things. We're going to look at uh, Painter's Windows Arrange Palettes. We have new palettes here. Uh, there's a simple one and the default, as well as these new brushes, illustration, photo art. Those are wonderful, too. But if you want to start with something that's just really very simple, the simple default is, is a beauty. And we're talking about an arrangement inside of the workspace of the palettes. And then what I've done is I've created, uh, took the simple one and created one that specifically uh, for me. And we'll talk about that as we go uh, further along in the videos. But the other thing, um, the Wacom tablet is uh, pretty amazing, too. Let me see if I can get it to open up here, down here. Okay, there we go. Uh, I didn't mean to open that. Let's close that. There we go. All right, so this is my Wacom tablet properties. And what I have done, I've set mine up uh, to be used with all applications because I'm not in uh, multiple applications frequently. In other words, I don't use Photoshop extensively like I use Painter. So I'm okay with just setting it up for all applications because I'm mainly in Painter and that's what I use the Cintiq for. When I go into uh, Photoshop, I just simply use the menu system because I'm not there a lot. But I'll tell you how you will be able to set yours up use, utilizing different applications put in here. Now, the rest of the stuff, express keys, touch ring, display toggle, all of that is fairly standard. And we'll talk about how I did that. But this radial menu is where I feel my system really shines now. The radial menu is not used very often, I don't think, or at least used to a great advantage. And I have set this thing up to lots and lots of commands. And I, wind, I find that I'm using it constantly. And it's much quicker and better for me than going up to the menu system or using uh, shortcut keys. And in my case, my uh, key, keyboard is underneath um, in a rollout drawer. And so to get to the keyboard is somewhat difficult. And so anything I can do in the Wacom tablet that uh, will replace the keyboard shortcuts is fine by me. And I really want to do that. So I've, I've really set this thing up a lot. Now, I did that previously and with other painters and with my different Wacom tablets that I've had. I've had a into us four and into us five, into us three, four, five, and now I have the Cintiq 24 inch uh, touch. Um, but before when I would set these things up, it, it was difficult to remember where I put them. And it occurred to me how to set this thing up, which would allow me to remember or to logically know where to go to uh, get the commands that I needed. And so we'll talk about that. Now, in order to set up a Wacom tablet or a Cintiq, you must have keyboard shortcuts um, or 
some sort of commands that can be translated into keyboards. Um, and if you look up in Painter, if you look at Canvas menu, you'll see all of these shortcuts off on the side. Uh, if you see layers, you'll see a bunch of shortcuts off on the side. Now, these shortcuts uh, can be added to. They're, you come with a certain amount of them, but what I'm going to do is show you how to add these keyboard shortcuts for commands that don't have them already. And that way you can then transfer those commands to your Wacom and usually into the radial menu. So that's what we're going to do in the next series of videos. We're going to look at uh, Painter's new system arrange palettes. We're going to look at how you can add sh shortcut uh, keyboard shortcuts to Painter 2015. You can do something similar to Photoshop as well. And we're going to look at how I set up my uh, uh, Wacom uh, tablet properties and why I chose what I did uh, and why I think it's helpful with uh, Photoshop. Okay, that's what's going to happen in the next series of videos. Stay with me. Bye-bye.